What is going on YouTube land? So we have a little bit of a different project to cover on this video. And if you've been around a while, you've seen this car in, I think a couple of videos, but it's here to get converted from a carburetor to Holly sniper fuel injection. So check this thing out. Uh, this, this belongs to Tony. Um, a good friend of mine he's also the guy that owns the blue uh, twin turbo uh, coyote car that we did a while back he's also the guy that owns the new race car that you're going to see on the channel after the Cobra is complete but anyways um, they were having problems with the carburetor and we decided to step into the new Millennium and uh, get some fuel injection on this thing some tunability and some drivability and all that neat stuff. So this is what we're working with. So we're converting over from this 750 double pumper. We're changing to that. And it's going to be a night and day difference. Um, car runs good now it runs decent you know it's just got some stumbling issues and blah 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 and rather than deal with a carburetor and you know so on and so forth we're like I said stepping into the new millennium getting some uh, modern stuff on here and we're gonna go with it all right so we got the engine on top dead center so we're gonna pull the distributor out get the coil off of it pull that extra wiring out get that pollution device off of there and take more steps in the right direction all right, we are moving on to phase number 54-ish on this project, and I got some stuff done. Got that doodad on there. Some of the wiring is ran in place. I think you can kind of see it right there. Distributor is in. Got some of the wiring in the floorboard there that needs to be terminated. And last but not least, we've got to get the fuel pump on it and the lines to the regulator from the pump. So, all right, this thing is really easy to work on, or the system is really easy to install. Um, it comes with a preset regulator and like there's all plugs everywhere and there's only like uh, two or three wires, two big power wires for the box or for the carburetor looking thing itself, two wires for the ignition amplifier box, and then one to key switch power. That's really all it is. Like everything else is plugs in and you can't screw it up and it's super easy. Like you can do it without instructions if you should so desire. Uh, the only tricky part is maybe getting the distributor put in correctly because it comes with a little clear cap that orients the pins on the cap that normally, let's see if I can find this thing in my junk pile here. And I don't see it. Anyways, uh, it orients the distributor cap to the uh, distributor to the rotor itself. So you have to put it in correctly, more or less, as long as you get it on top mid center. So, anyways, um, it's just about ready to start. I have to go screw the oxygen sensor in and plug it in and do the configuration on the screen, and then we will be ready to rock. So, check this out. Like all that stuff back there is just plug and play. There is no ECU to mount. The ECU is the throttle body slash carburetor looking thing. So um, you don't have to mount anything other than the ignition box if you should choose to go that way. If you don't use the ignition box, then you lose timing control. So there's that. Anyways, let's get it configured and see if we can start it. All right, so here's the sniper screen. And I have not done one of these from scratch, so let's kind of wing it and see what happens. So we're going to go to a wizard. Uh, this is the 550-871. So it's going to be this guy right here. Uh, hopefully you can see what we're looking at. Let me see. All right. So it's 550-871. Go next. Eight cylinder next engine displacement. This is let's see, clear 
393 cubes. Save. Next. Target idle speed. Let's see. Let's clear that. We're going to say 900. I think that's probably going to be a little high, but we'll see. Next. Cam. We'll call it street and strip. How's that? Eh, let's, yeah, street and strip sounds good. Eh, I'll do mild. You can always go back and change this later. Power adder, none. Let's see, sniper ignition system type is hyper spark distributor. Let's see if there's any choices. No, okay. Next, wide open throttle ignition timing. We're gonna say, third, let's say 32. Save. Next, and looks like a winner right there. Let's see what that says, start. Okay, so it's. Okay. Key is back on, pump is priming. Pump primed. I think we're ready to start it for the first time. I guess let's cross our fingers. May the force be with us. All right, let's see if we can keep a little light in here. Come on, light, stay on. Okay, there's the screen. We're ready to fire it up. Contact. I just remembered it might help if we put a coil wire on it. Okay, we're back with a coil wire now. Let's try that again. Let's see if we get this right. Pumps primed, let's go. Well, it would appear to be that we have the timing at 180 out. Let's see if we can get that right. Okay, apparently I had conveniently forgot that I had turned the motor over and got it off the top dead center when I installed the distributor, so now the distributor is reinstalled and we are ready to fire it up. Hopefully it'll actually run this time. All right, so I have learned that it helps if you put the plug wires on in the right orientation, as in clockwise versus counterclockwise, you put them on like it's a Ford when it is a Ford and not like a Chevrolet when it's a Ford. So let's try one more time. Uh, 27th time or something like that is a charm. Okay, so this thing, the the basic configuration is really, really, really super conservative for some reason. And it sets the target idle air fuel ratio at like 13 to 1 or 13.5. And this thing will idle like a whole lot leaner than that. So I'm going to show you real quick, uh, if you're happening to look at this video to know how to do stuff, um, how to change the target air fuel ratio at idle. Super, super easy, super quick, nothing to it. All right, so let's see if we can do this without a glare. Let's 
So you go tuning, basic, basic fuel, target AFR, target AFR at idle, click on that, clear, I said clear, and we want to idle this thing at 14, we'll just say 14.75, save, save, home, and that's it. It's super, super easy to do. So closed loop is still configured pretty generous and it's not going, I mean, it's gonna idle at that, but it's probably gonna have a lot of correction going on. So we'll start it up, check that out and see how it works. So we're gonna turn it back over to the monitor screen. Uh, let's see, I don't remember which one it is. Back, um, uh, vitals. And air fuel ratio is right there. I think there's one that shows that's already set up that shows the target air fuel ratio. Yeah, there it is. So target air fuel ratio at the top. Actual air fuel ratio on the left. some jumper cables up to this thing because it was pretty dead so let's see if we get a little better luck this time now we've leaned it out uh, idle wise and hopefully we got the right screen pulled up so we'll be able to see the target air fuel ratio and the actual air fuel ratio Alright guys, so that is the end of the video. We it actually ended up taking the Cobra to the dyno and it was really cold that night, so I didn't film any of it. But just to tell you how good the wizard is in the sniper setup, that and it you now keep in mind you have to put the right numbers in it or acceptable numbers for what you're trying to do. But just to show you how good the wizard is in there, we made four pulls on the dyno. The car made, on the first pull, made 372, and on the last pull it made 379.8, I think. So almost eight horsepower difference in four pulls, and the, the graph was really clear, or the fuel curve was really clear, very little correction, single digits in fact. Um, the only thing that I had to smooth out in the fuel table was, um, actually wasn't even in the fuel table, uh, it was acceleration enrichment. Um, it had a lean spike when you get into the gas. No big deal. So that project is done and gone and it's time to get back onto Bob and find out why he has low oil pressure. So thanks everybody for stopping by checking out the video. If you made it this far, you were really bored yet again. But the next video is going to be just as boring. We'll see you then. Thanks guys.